Your Name isn't a masterpiece. The movie is just good. It's not bad by any means. In fact, I would say it's amazing on the first watch especially. After multiple watches though, you start to realize that this movie doesn't live up to all the hype it's been getting. The film is about a girl named Mitsusha. She has aspirations of falling in love with a cute boy and moving on to bigger and better things. She begins to mysteriously have her consciousness switch bodies with a boy named Taki who lives in Tokyo. And from there, the two begin communicating with each other through text messages and writing in notebooks as they continuously switch bodies and eventually they fall in love. This body switching mechanic is the central draw to the film, as it's a fairly interesting concept for a romance story. Honestly though, one of the main issues with Your Name is that it relies too heavily on this concept and doesn't develop the main characters enough. The main narrative drive of the film is that you want to see these two characters get together. But the funny thing is, the characters themselves don't have much going on for them in terms of personality. The only thing we really know about the aspirations of these characters, other than that they eventually want to be together, is that Taki wants to be an architect and enjoys his life, and that Mitsusho wants to move away from her town but they're very blandly written and I never could really connect with them individually. The lack of interesting personalities from these characters sort of makes me care less about the relationship they have. I feel like since I have less of a grasp on them as individuals, it makes it hard for me to care about their relationship. A lot of the moments that the film wants to be super emotional fall a little too flat for me as a result. Like the moment where the two main characters are standing on the crater and meet up with each other after having their consciousness swapped back to their original bodies because of some plot events I won't spoil. This moment was powerful to an extent because it was the first time we get to see these characters actually together physically, but it could have been so much more powerful if the characters themselves were developed more. Instead, the film spends a lot of time focusing on this body swapping mechanic between the two main characters. And this body swapping mechanic is the glue that holds this whole film together, because without it, you have very little in the way of interesting characters or romance. There are two main elements of this body swapping gimmick that can be seen in nearly all of the director of this film, Makoto Shinkai's, work. These two elements are important to understanding the appeal of your name, as well as the director's other works. These two elements being sci-fi and distance between characters. To further examine these two elements, let's take a trip back to 2002 to look at Makoto Shinkai's short film called Voices of a Distant Star. This 25 minute film was written, directed, and partially produced and voice acted by Makoto Shinkai himself. Safe to say this director wears a lot of artistic hats, and I admire him greatly for that. This film is about a schoolboy named Noboro and a schoolgirl named Mikako who are good friends with each other and have some minor romantic feelings about each other. The girl, Mikako, gets recruited by the UN to become a space mech pilot to fight off a race of aliens in space called the Terrasons. As a result, the two are separate and send text messages to each other to communicate. This communication gets severed as time goes on though, as the time it takes to send text messages increases the further Mikako travels out into space. This film uses sci-fi and distance between characters as a gimmick, just like Your Name does. Both stories have sci-fi plots, Your Name having meteors coming down to Earth and a body swapping story, and Voices of a Different Star having mechs and space aliens, and they both have distance between characters, Your Name having two characters in two different bodies in two different areas of Japan, and Voices of a Different Star having one character be in space and the other one be on Earth with very severed communication between the two. Voices of a Different Star uses these elements in a much worse way than Your Name though. The film has a lot of problems with its pacing and how it develops its characters. We get next to no time to understand who Noboro and Mikako even are before Mikako gets thrust into space. The audience is expected to just automatically care about this text message relationship between these two characters with very little build up. The same issues can be seen in Your Name, it's just that Your Name has a much larger scope. It's still similar in a lot of ways though. In Your Name, we get very little characterization of the two main characters before the sci-fi gimmick comes in as well. We get a lot of emotional moments that don't feel earned or justified as a result. The whole reason I bring up Voices of a Distant Star is that watching it made me better understand the flaws of Your Name. Voices of a Distant Star has a lot of the same problems as Your Name, except they are much more amplified, as a result of the film being much shorter and having a much worse art direction and sound direction than Your Name. It's like Your Name, but worse and more condensed. And I think it's valuable to draw parallels between them, because they both represent what I feel are Shinkai's shortcomings as a filmmaker. He's really good at emotional moments, but isn't very good with setting up these emotional moments with interesting characters and often uses sci-fi elements or distance between characters to hide this. He's good at introducing concepts, but isn't good at making me care about those concepts. Despite all this though, I enjoy Your Name for the presentation. I think the film has a lot of good qualities. I think the background art is stunning, and the animation is really solid. I also like the music in the film, 
and I think it did its best to sell the emotional moments. A lot of Shinkai's bad qualities just have to do with the fact that he needs to grow more as a filmmaker. Even though Your Name is the highest grossing anime film of all time, and Shinkai has directed 5 feature length films as well as 6 short films, I think he's still early on in his career. All the hype that was surrounding him as being the next Hayao Miyazaki doesn't make sense to me considering the scope of Miyazaki's filmography. I think it's unfair to call Shinkai the next Miyazaki because it puts too much pressure on him as well. Even Shinkai himself has disagreed with him being the next Miyazaki. I think we need to give him more room to breathe and improve. Either way, I'm very interested to see what Shinkai does next as I think he's a very interesting artist. What do you guys think though? Leave a comment down below if you have any thoughts on the subject or the video in general, and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.